Residents of Nyandarwa County have killed a man believed to have raped and murdered an 11-year-old girl. Locals fear the man could have been involved in ritual killings as the incident took place just three kilometers from where another young girl was raped and killed in a bizarre manner. Na wakati tumekuja tumekuta mtoto amewawa, amekatwa kishwa, na sio kishwa tu, amekuwa raped. Sababu surari yake adani ilikuwa juu yake, na ile ingine imenisha gaza. Uyo mtoto amekatwa mpaka vidore. Na chukuru vijana wale wako na bio wamemukibiza na wamempata. In Mombasa County, three suspected gangsters were last night shot dead while a fourth one escaped in Bamburi area in Mombasa in an attempted robbery on a petrol station. Kisauni OCPD Richard Ngatia said the three were gunned down after a shootout ensued between them and the police. Still in Mombasa, car importers have denied allegations by the coast regional coordinator Nelson Marwa that they have been sneaking narcotics into the country by stuffing heroin and cocaine in their car tires in the pretext of importing cars. Mino, a family in Tarakanithi, is mourning the death of their sister who committed suicide after learning of the disappearance of her elder sister. However, this is not the first time she has tried to end her life. Elsewhere, the Kenyan government is in talks with the United Kingdom over the defense cooperation agreement in a move that may result into the continued training of British Army in the country. The two countries are expected to sign the agreement whose fate will lie with members of parliament when it is tabled on the floor of the House for debate. <laughs> And in Kiambu, hundreds of traders took to the streets to protest alleged harassment by Kiambu government officials. The traders lamented that the officials have been raiding the business premises, demanding bribes in the guise of seeking rate defaulters. Get a petition. Ikatukuliwa, ikaenda kwa hiyo kamati haiku shugulikiwa na hatu kupatiwa majibu. Kwa hivyo pia kamati ya assembly, ina uwezo wakuita watu kama sisi, ambao tuna wakilisha nyinyi wote ndio tukae chini na hiyo kamati tuwaelezee haya mambo yote sababu yangine tunashindwa kama kwani hawa watu waoni tunawasomea katiba ni kama hawaski kwa hivyo tunakaguliza mheshimiwa murugami ukipelekea hiyo kamati waombe kwa njia ya unyenyekevu finally in baringo a short message service has been launched which is hoped to boost security the concept dubbed mulika hualifu is a real time hotline number that is rooted to the Rift Valley Region Coordinator's Office owned by Safaricom Telephone Company. Starting with the word Baringo, residents can now report the intended message to the number 22068. For KBC Channel 1 News R, I'm Brenda Zedaradido.